Oh. <laughs> okay. Um, well, I'm Rebecca Onkin, and I'm a junior from Westside High School. <laughs> Thank you. I'm the only one here. <laughs> um, and you'll have to forgive me. I haven't memorized this poem, but I'll do my best for you. Uh, the title of my poem is Love is a Glass Half Empty Kind of Thing. When I was young, I was mystified by people who were different. People who talked differently from me, who looked different, who saw things different because they were something to behold. A quiet artwork in the noisy museum of the world. The most fascinating painting to me was the people who loved differently. They seem so happy to kiss, so happy to be free, so happy to simply hold hands. A love like some, nothing else, a love I could never touch. I was raised in a house where I almost never got close to that kind of love, that kind of openly displayed content, that kind of peace. It was never one love, one way, but it was never our way. As I got older and the edges of my face sharpened and my heart's innocence eroded and I lost sight of what love even meant, everyone discovered the taste of each other's lips and found resolute labels that finally said what they felt, but I stayed quiet and kept my heart empty. Love found its way to me, though. Glimpsing through the words of a young slam poet pontificating about her unrequited love for a girl who would never know about her secret admire her who loves her like the sun loves the moon and beyond the stars. I saw it in the shy smile of a boy who had discovered one day that dresses and dolls weren't for him, who knew that being a man was about more than what's underneath clothes. I felt it in the rush of happiness I got when a boy held my hand for the first time as sweaty and nervous as me. I heard it in the shaking voice of a girl at summer camp who proclaimed on the last day that she had learned she could tell people she was gay. And when we were dancing later in a darkened room with pop music pounding in the corner and worming its way through our teeth, I found something deep inside myself that said that if she had wanted to kiss me amongst the teenage hormones and aching feet, I would have let her but I felt the empty of my heart grow when I saw someone naked in the locker room surrounded by sweat and hairspray and felt nothing at all. When I went to the internet's vastness and found in the catacombs of Google the truth that I was something someone would find hard to love, I felt like I was dying. Because you see, all I want, all I ever want, is to have someone hold me and tell me that I am loved, that I am enough, that they would never leave me alone. Because I am asexual and I've had friends pair off, lips covered in cherry lip gloss and t-shirts drowned in axe spray, spray because I am asexual and I can't even begin to fathom how teenagers could dream and sleep about their sex because I am asexual and I haven't even been kissed yet and I don't think I ever will be because I am asexual. I know what I am now, and I know that my life will never be easy because of the words that I have uttered up here. I wish that I could take them back because they quiver from how much it hurts. Sometimes I wish that love was a quiet fantasy so far away in a noisy museum and not a harsh reality up so close to my face that I cannot bear to live without it. Thank <laughs> you.